All right. PS1 try. This is uh, game number 277. Uh, Simple 1500 series volume 43. The Hanafuda 2. We played another Hanafuda game already. It was not part of the Simple 1500 series. Hanafuda, of course, being a uh, style of Japanese playing card. Um, oh, what's going on there? Trying this one in a new emulator. Trying to see if I can switch over totally to Mednafen. go ahead and actually give this a nice proper total restart. The thing I'm going to like about this is that it's going to be, um, we'll finally get to start having the stream start with this wonderful nostalgic noise. And then I can make everything a little bit bigger on the sidebar. See how this goes. This is going to be the last game on the docket. Let's keep saving Medieval for Beppy. Surely he'll be able to join us on time soon enough for one of these. It's of course, a Japanese game. Load, save, rules. We'll see if these rules can actually help us. It's loading something. Oh, actually, let me make sure that this is uh, loud enough. Uh, yeah, it's really a good balance. Okay, these rules don't have any pictures. Okay. Well, this at least tells us point values for different things. These are different suits. You got the red ribbon ones, purple ribbon ones. Hanafuda cards. Um, are of course, uh, the company Nintendo, which you may have heard of. Uh, challenge. Alright, yeah. So we got a few different kinds of games. We got Koi Koi, uh, Oichigabu and something wase. Let's just um, let's play a star one. Really for this game, unless we figured out how to play this, I think we're just looking at uh, the UI more or less. This will auto sort our hands or something. I think we're pretty sure I set it up so we're playing a shorter game. Oh, this actually helps a lot right here. So I can trade out, I think, any of these cards. Oh. When I have the option to play things from here. So I think the way this is working is I'm trying to match cards with my hand with cards in this shared thing. And as this happens, cards are replaced. And so if I can do it, I can also put one of my cards from my hand down in there. But if I don't need to, I don't think I want to. I do need to. And now I don't know what's ideal. 
Though if I run out of cards in my hand, maybe that's good? Computer got one point that round. But since we can play these short... Um, what even is Hanafuda? Hanafuda is this style, is this, this deck of cards is called like a Hanafuda deck. The same way that like there's like a pinochle deck of like American style playing cards. Which is basically an abridged version of a regular deck. But um, there's a number of different types of games you can play with these cards. Including this matching one that I don't really understand. Uh, Koi Koi is the name of this specific game that we're playing with Hanafuda cards. And getting the chance to declare Koi Koi, I'm going to assume is a good thing. In a game called Bridge, you want to uh, have a bridge. In a game called Jin, you want to have Jin. But we have also lost this round one to one. I think we somehow need two points in this last round to win. These cards, uh, they have suits. Uh, the point values in these cards, I think, differs game to game, but the suits, I think, are generally the same across all the games. And the best I can tell, the suits, like, match the pictures. There's, like, an autumn suit, and, yeah. It's only the, the how-to-play part of the game. I told you what the suits are. If you go to Wikipedia, it tells you what the suits are. I got worked in that last round. And I've lost. Um, I don't want to say, but we'll try... Uh, there's only three types of games, and we can play three round ones. So we'll see this different one. Oh. I'm assuming I'm getting points here for these pairs that I'm making and setting aside. Although those ones I'm setting to the side and not like in my corner, so I don't know. Ooh, actually. Okay, do that. They are very pretty cards. Uh, I got 65 points that round. I don't know if that's good. Oh, I got fewer points than them, though. Or maybe you want to have fewer points in this game. I don't know. Oh, what's up? Let me turn you up. Two hundred percent. Talk more. Ooh. You've got mail. Uh, I think you're way quieter than the game. Still, let me turn the game down. Oh, yeah, I switched to a new emulator. I need to do some volume mixing stuff. I'm using Mednafen now. It's a live stream, folks. Anything could happen. Flying by the seat of our pants. Yes, I'm not even wearing pants. That's just a little yeah. peppy sack for you. You wearing? I'm I'm wearing shorts. I guess that's not really pants. It's technically true. 
And they're basketball shorts, so they're pretty, uh... Nice, you like to wear those because you play a lot of basketball. I could play basketball if I wanted to. I'm not saying you couldn't. Yeah. You got the shorts. Yeah. I do. Got the shorts and I got the you shots. Equipped, I'd say. Yeah. I don't got the I don't got the handles. I'll tell you that right now. Okay. What, uh, I. What do you like on the court? Uh, Are you uh, a pretty aggressive player? Or? I would be um. Put it in like video game terms. Uh, something like a uh, a three point expert. I think if I were actually playing basketball. Okay, you got a nice shot. Not too much fade. I like to think I do. I haven't actually, you know, tried shooting a basketball in a while. I've never seen you shoot a basketball, and we call ourselves friends for yeah. Have we we played tennis once, didn't we? That sounds right. I feel like I've played tennis with you once before. I feel like we were both surprised that we thought we would both be worse at tennis. Yeah. <laughs> at least maybe I did. We had some rallies going. Is it? Sometimes. says I'm still quiet. But yeah, I, I changed it after she said that, oh. and I'm trying to see if it's better now. I have Discord maxed and Volume Mixer. Fortunately, I don't have Discord as a separate thing in OBS. I just have my desktop audio, but I kind of... It sounds like I have you mi matched up with the game, more or less. Um... We'll see. Oh. Not exactly. I don't know if that not exactly is not exactly good or. Oh, he's not quite compared to game sound, but he's quite compared to me. Well, I've already turned myself up a lot. Um, I, I think quiet compared to you is a good thing, especially for me. I, I <laughs> tend to overpower with my voice. Yeah. I just imagine you need Discord louder than the game, so that like you and I have similar volume levels. We're gonna make this work. Yeah. We're professionals. Knife goes in, guts come out. That's what Q Bear's job is all about. Okay, look at my points here. I think I had one like really good set. Um, again, there's three rounds at the minute of the third round. We'll see. Um, I have negative 100 points. Someone else had 30. Someone else had 70. Ooh, tough round. The guy was 71. So you want points in this game. You started with negative 80, but you want to have points. And that was that game. And then if the it last. Was golf, you'd be you'd have won in a landslide. It really is. Oh my god, if I was shooting at 80 under? Oh yeah, jeez. That's like, <laughs> that's like you don't even wake up and drive yeah. to the golf course. Oicho Kabu is the third of the Hanafuda games available in the Hanafuda 2. I'm actually in a well full of dicks. Um, <laughs> a well full of tunnels. And I would thank you not to mention it again, as it's very stressful for me over <laughs> here, as you can imagine. Thank you. Oh, this game looks very different than the other two. Um, six six two one nine. I'm gonna guess one of these sixes. Oh, and I'm bidding. I'm making bets on points here. I bid fifty points on that one. Have a uh, <laughs> request in the chat to suck a few dicks. I will get right on that. This game looks like a, a fancy gambling style one. I got a hundred I got the most points that round. I have hundred and fifty, one ten forty. I hope points are good this one. There's three here. Um I think these cards have values and I'm trying to bet like how those values are going to relate to the card that's about to get flipped. I don't know. 
I had a lot of luck betting on five last time, but I'm only going to bet 30 of my points on this one. It's a five. This guy's betting 90 of his on a one. I think maybe the higher it is, the more likely it is to win. Look, all I know is we we'll always double down on 11, and we we'll always split eights. I mean, if you're really going to always split, you're always going to split aces, really. Always split aces, always split eights, double yeah. down on 11. And I guess some of that actually might change if you're playing a, like a small, maybe like a three-deck shoe, and you know it's really cold right now. Well, if it's cold, I'm not even sitting down, you know? Yeah. I mean, it won't be too obvious. When it's cold, you just, you know, you start betting the table minimum. But when it's, you know, it's really hot and it's full of tens, then you start... Actually, I don't know, like, when you start betting high if the, uh, if the count's positive or negative. I know the, uh... The basic concept of counting cards. Oh, and then I can... You can hit. This is, like, a blackjack-style one. All I know about counting Yeah, this was... Learned from that Kevin Spacey movie. I think this very much was blackjack. Like I got to pick which of the five cards I started by betting with, and then how much I was betting on that. Is Japanese blackjack. Yeah. It might be. I'm not. I'm being yeah. good. And I lost to Com Two, who won all of his bets. Com Two. And that's a. Uh, the Hanafuda too. There's challenges here, but as of that, um, get rid of that right here, and let's um, ooh, let's not let's keep that on here for now. Um, I'll put this on here to tease the speed runs that I might be doing more of. Oh yeah, God, I'll uh. Yeah, after dark, we're doing after dark tonight. We sure can. Definitely when I'm done with this, I'm going to take a small break to eat some bagel bites. Yeah, um, yeah. i got to eat something, too. Yeah, I, was, I mean, if we're not doing After Dark, I might try to do more fucking uh, Street Skater speed runs. Uh, I will do After Dark with you. Yeah. I have to imagine Cole would be down, too. If he's invited, I mean... He is always invited. Okay. Well, yeah, he's always invited. I mean, I guess he did crash on our couch for a month. A month. <laughs> He's literally always yeah. invited. Neither of us uh, kicked him out. Man, good time. Bad they times, good times. <laughs> were pretty good for me all around. Other than watching them not be great for y'all. Could have been a lot worse. Yeah. Way. I've been worse places for a yeah. month. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've been in St. Louis for four years. 35. Are we doing, uh, game selection now? Sure are. We still have Medieval on the docket, but that one, okay. you you asked me to, to wait till you can do it, and uh, I'm going to do that. It's going to stay on the docket. What a good guy. What a good friend you are. I am. It's like Cole wants me to only do Boku no Natsu Yasumi when he's around, and that one might take us like 15 streams, because we've been doing just two nights at a time, and it's like all 30 days of uh, the boys' summer vacation. So let's, um, oh, actually, let me get OBS back on regular desktop. Oh, minimize. Alright, we got 10 games to come. 3564. Game number one is number 2351. Ooh, not a Rockman one. Uh, Ridge Racer. The original. It's Ridge Racer! It sure will be. It's actually the uh, the last of the Ridge Racer games. I think we've played all the other ones. We're ending with the I, original. I never got into Ridge Racer until disappointingly late in my life. And I now I love Ridge Racer. Yeah. They're real fun little arcade uh, racing games. I don't know how good the first one's going to be. Uh, 1222. We've got Holma Hunter Lime Special Collection Volume 2. That may be a visual novel. I don't know. There's another version that says With Paint Maker. I have no idea what Holma Hunter Lime or Lime 
Special Collection Volume 2 is going to be. Those, those are kind of fun ones sometimes, the games that are absolute mysteries. Oh, wait, no, sorry, it is it's the, it is the one with Paint Maker. Never mind, 1222. I can't read. Fifteen oh seven. Let's mouse wheel this. Oh, I love a mouse Ooh. wheel. Here it is. This is one I've been worried about. Fifteen oh seven. What do we got? Uh, Legend of Dragoon. Legend of Dragoon. This is a four disc JRPG. Um, four discs. Jesus wept. And are kind of abandoning this thing. Um, Cole brought up the point that like. It kind of just sucks watching me like play uh, like long JRPGs in Japanese, or I skip all the dialogue, especially when I get stuck and run around. So we're pulling a slight thing. It's remaining, you know. I haven't gotten edited the list to chop down languages, but we're just gonna play this one in English. I think that's fair. I think it's fair. It's I me. Mean, this is about having fun. It's a lot more fun to me to uh, be a lot more fun to play this game in English. And I've been looking forward to. Uh, Trying this game. I rented this game a few times from Blockbuster, and then I realized this is not a game uh, that you should be renting because, you know, it's a, really a 60, 70 hour game. 107. Ooh, is it going to be. I think the longest I ever rented a game was from Redbox. Um, Ooh, that'll. That'll, <laughs> that'll run stack you up. up the fees. Yeah, I had a game but from it Redbox. Was Duke Nukem Forever, and I was oh, like, fuck I can't. Off turn this in without beating yeah. it that's like but i didn't know it was like 25 hours yeah. it's so ridiculous i i think i also uh played your rented copy of that and also beat it it's possible yeah i'm uh, not very responsible at returning yeah. things i almost uh, always turn in library books late i kept dark souls uh the first one from red box for like a week that was worth it because that let me know i wanted to buy it and then i did um, and then Here's also a life hack, if you if you like a game that you've rented from Redbox, you can just hang on to it, and it only costs about hundred and forty dollars before yeah. they say you can have it. Just a little bit longer, and you, then you get to keep that little Redbox uh, case too. I have two or three of those. <laughs> uh, Animaniacs Ten Pin Alley Two was our fourth game. It's gonna be an Animaniacs bowling game. One. Be fun to be, to be uh, Who's wacky. Who's your favorite animaniac? Oh, um, Dot, probably. No, um, it's gonna embarrass me. I forget which one's Yak. Is Yakko the one with the shirt and no pants? And Wacko's the one with pants and no shirt? Or is it the other way around? That's correct, yes. I like Wacko's Yak like the main one. Yakko wears a hat? Yeah, I like, I like the one with like the blue sweater and no pants the most I think that's that's Yakko I like Yakko the one the one who did um, the countries of the world one was him no wait he, oh, the one with the pants of the countries he? of the world yeah I thought Wacko I did can't that. remember they they kind of the boys blend together a little bit you know it happens like fifth game, I see what you're saying all Animaniacs look the same they, huh they really do are they dogs is that it whoops that's discord not uh, twitch chat are they Dogs or they kind of look like know. the they kind of look out? like a goofy info desk. Um, 1889 NCAA March Madness 2000. You got a college hoops game. The way that racists say basketball is meant to be played. 2925. A running gag throughout the series Animaniacs is the question of what animals if any they are meant to be modeled after so I guess like none yeah. <laughs> they're just <Yeah>. cartoons <laughs> 2925 Strider 2 Not really. Ooh, that's actually a pretty good port if I remember correctly what is that it's, it's an a arcade, uh, game? arcade game yeah but is it like, like me me metal, uh, metal, metal slug or like a like a shmup more like a uh, more like a shinobi I guess Okay. So close to the game I've been uh, speedrunning today. Just 
five off. That's super skater. Street skater. Street skater. God damn it. Super skater. I do have yeah. to admit, I had not heard of that game. Yeah. Okay, that, so, so it's it more, more more obscure than I thought, I guess. Uh, we got a 2244 Racing Special. It's probably a racing game. Oh, God damn it. There's Discord again. My lovely face. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, three more. Twenty-four, twenty-seven. Sticking in these two thousands. <coughs> Love the two thousands. Uh, running wild, not running high. This is not the racing not, game. Not running foot high. racing. Not running this blind. A, not a god's song. I think running wild was a racing game where you're animals, or it's a fighting game where you're a god damn. I did it again. Sense. Two more. Um. Running Wild is, in fact, a, uh, a bipedal racing game where you are anthropomorphic animals. Okay, so, so it is... It, it to is, our furry communities. It is another foot racing game, uh, like Running High, but one where you're animals. It's weird that there's two foot racing racing games that aren't like yeah. track and field. 2061, oh boy. You got Parappa the Rapper. Oh! Those guys, I'm going to say it, yeah. the best PS1 game. It's certainly up there. Um, it's not one that emulates well. The timing on it. It does not. Yeah, no. so I uh, get ready for me to uh, not make it out of the dojo on that one. I don't uh, want to guarantee that, but it seems pretty likely. It's probably likely. I can't even... I can't beat the dojo on, yeah. on emulation. I mean, like, for, first draw on an actual console, but... Oh, actual console with my eyes closed. That whole yeah. game... Freestyling and everything, rapping and cool. Tenth one we got here, free and then actually freestyling with your mouth, um, to the beat. Oh hell yeah! Twenty-seven forty-six. Man, I love Parappa. The Smurfs. Do not like the Smurfs. <laughs> the Smurfs. You don't like the game, or you don't like the franchise. The franchise. Hmm. I Wait. I watched a bunch of Smurfs as a kid, but. Always disliked the Smurfs. Sandra PSX, is that the... It is. God damn it. I would have really liked 2747. Oh. I'm, I'm glad to know have... that that game has a PS1 port, and I hope there's a fan translation. Because uh, we'll play we that. Could have, uh, we could have called in... Uh, you could oh, have delegated a Snatcher run to someone else. I, I think we will. He's also still got to get back and finish. Uh, you know, like, like a typical fucking cop. He's not doing his job. He's not doing his shit for anybody. Fuck cops. But he does need to... Uh, does need to finish uh, get a little more. Uh, I always want to say psycho knots, but uh, police knots. So yeah, that's our next docket. We got a Ridge Racer. We got Homa Hunter Lime Special Collection Volume Two. We got the Legend of Dragoon. It's gonna be in that game for a month probably. Uh, Animaniacs Ten Finale. NCAA March Madness 2000. Strider Two Racing Special. Running Wild. Parappa the Rappa. The Smurfs. This is a this is a good docket. I'll tell you what. Yeah. I got a messy desktop. I will also tell you what right there. Um, I wasn't going to say it. I mean, mine's just... I'll go back here. Oh, no, I don't want to go there. Okay. And, uh... Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Probably get some PS1 try after dark. Before too long. Stay I got, cool. Stay BTA, cool. All of the above.